Hi, I'm Ollie. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the Incipio Dual Pro Shine for the iPhone 5. It comes in the usual Incipio packaging. What you do is you just take this bit up back here, and then the uh, the case, the front pops off like that. So this is the uh, the case itself. This is the uh, the aluminium part that uh, refers to as the Dual Pro Shine. Um, it's called Dual Pro because it's actually got a, a rubber part that actually sits in the middle, and you've got a harder out, outer shell. Uh, this is the stand you get, so you can stand the uh, the phone in portrait or landscape. And then inside here, you've got a, uh, a screen protector and a microfiber cleaning cloth, and also this applicator card for applying the screen protector. Again, so this is the case itself. As you can see, this is the uh, the aluminium section, and you've actually got this uh, this rubber part that sits inside and uh, and takes any impact that you should throw at the phone. You've got an Incipio logo there. So if we just take the case apart, this is the uh, the rubber inner. So you slide the phone in as such. So the, these are the buttons you'll be using to press the uh, the volume up and down. You've got your little hole there for the slider switch. The power buttons press through there, all nice and responsive. See there, you've got the Incipio logo that actually shows through the aluminium part. So this is it. You've got the uh, the plastic sides with the uh, with the aluminium part pressed over the top of it. It has got a really nice finish on it. Here you've got the uh, the black uh, detail around the camera hole. So if you uh, insert the side without the volume buttons on first, pop that in there, and then the idea is you just need to uh, push that down, make sure the uh, the rubber's in place. So start at the bottom with the cutouts here. You see all the cutouts line up fine, you're gonna get no issues with the three and a half mil jack. This is the part where the Incipio logo shows through. There you've got where your uh, your access to the volume up and down and the silent switch. Silent switch is uh, it's not too awkward to get to. Now the good thing about this case is you've got a nice edge that runs around here, so you've got good screen protection. It's uh, generously uh, bent over there um, with a nice cutout, so you're not going to get in any interference on the front camera. The uh, the home button's uh, not restricted in any way. So all in all, it's a really nice case. You get good protection. Doesn't make the uh, the phone too thick at all, and uh, and it looks really stylish as well. So I really like this case. I use it for a few hours before I've done this review, and uh, feels great in the hand. You've got the grip around the side, so this aluminium bat doesn't reduce the grip when it's in your hands. Even when you put it down, it doesn't slide around uh, unnecessarily at all. You've got protection on the back, it doesn't show any of the iPhone part off, but uh, obviously uh, that does come uh, come at a cost with protection. I really like the, uh, the lip that runs around, and uh, because the, uh, the rubber's actually supported from the sides, it's not like it's going to go uh, loose or saggy over time. So uh, yeah, highly recommended. It's not too expensive, available online now. Uh, if this review has helped, if you could like it on YouTube, it would be much appreciated. And if you're interested in iPhone 5 case reviews, I've got plenty on my channel, so it's probably worth subscribing. If you've got any questions, if you just ask below, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.